Well, I'm loving this because as we give thanks through the holidays, it's those scents that you get. Yes. The things that are around your house that also make you think of family. So Lisa's going and investing into the ways to make your whole home smell good. Yeah, because you know it always smells good when you're in the kitchen cooking all day, but sometimes you want the place to smell good even mm -hmm. when it's not the holiday and you want it to smell good on any day during the holiday yeah. season. So we got some fun tricks for you to show you how to make your place smell good. And of course, you've got your options like the candles and the warmers and things like that. But this is kind of more of a natural alternative for you. So you're not some people are trying to avoid those chemicals lately. Sure. So uh, more natural alternative. And it takes for you in the you. kitchen where through the holidays we're in the kitchen a lot anyway. Yes, you've already got the stove yeah. all going. So just add another burner. So these are simmer pots. So we are going to show you a couple of different variations today. Okay. We've got a fall one and a winter one. So for the fall one, you basically just get your pot going. Uh, and that's just water, right? Just yeah, boiling water? Just, okay. just water. And I'm just, and the fun thing about these is they're so customizable. You can really put anything in there. So I love citrus, so I'm adding orange and lemon in here. And this is just from the grocery store, regular old cut up. I'm also gonna add some apples too, cause we know that that apple-y smell is mm -hmm. just very Very harvest thought. Yeah. Yes, that's uh -huh. the fun fall smell. And then the fun part is kind of with the extra things that you can add, your favorite spices, and that's what where it gets really customizable. So I like to add a couple of cinnamon sticks to both of them because the cinnamon ones, like the cinnamon sticks, they just, oh, yeah. the real oh, yeah. ones as opposed to the powder, mm -hmm. they really add that extra smell. So I'll just, And I'm guessing the water really brings out that odor, that yes, smell that it adds. Yes, the warmth, and mm -hmm. I wish you all could smell it at home because it, it is really good. And then a trick I like to use is pumpkin pie spice because uh. rather than buying all the separate mm -hmm. spices, you can just cheat and use the pumpkin <laughs> pie spice because it, it's got a whole blend in here, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, mm -hmm. and you... Really oh, just that nutmeg thought is also a big fall thought yes. too. So yep. really just however much you want. I go heavy on the spice because I like the smell of it. And then I usually will also for a touch of sweetness add just a little bit of vanilla extract in there. And you know when you're baking, as soon as the heat hits the mm -hmm. vanilla, it'll smell really, really nice. So, and this isn't boiling. That, that's, it's called a simmer pot. Yes, so usually what I will do is I'll put everything in the pot, bring mm -hmm. it to a boil so the heat can get going. Uh, okay. And then you'll bring it down to your simmer. And then it's important to keep an eye on it throughout the day because the water, as it evaporates, will get a little lower. We're cooking it out, basically. Yes, so mm -hmm. you don't don't want the ingredients in there to burn and of course this isn't something you want to do and then leave the house do your errands and things like that so please don't burn the house down that's yes. not wise do this while you're at home and just keep an eye on it add some water to it periodically and your whole entire house will smell great and then I also want to show you the Christmas variation very similar to our fall simmer pot but you can add some kind of fun holiday okay. differences so we'll add our same oranges. We have a little bit of a smaller pot here. Fruits and are all the same. Yes, fruits are the same. You can add lemon to this one, apples, and then we'll also add some fresh rosemary. Which already smells good even before it goes in the water. Yes, it kind of smells like a Christmas tree mm -hmm, farm mm -hmm. and just the greenery will add you that Christmas feel. And then for some extra Christmas love, you can add some fresh cranberries. You can just buy those in. I had a hard time finding these actually. Turns out really? they're in the produce section. Oh well, yeah. Didn't know. Yep. So okay. th that's but where that's, you find them. That's the fresh kind, not frozen, not already processed. I prefer the fresh because there's more to do with them because they're so uncooked mm -hmm. that when they've been sitting in the pot all day, they can. There's a little more room for them to they'll, express they'll and things like all that. Of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So then we'll add a cinnamon stick to this one as well. And you can even just looking at that, that's that's a decor piece right there for your for your. When show. you've done it, how long would you let that cook before it's like, oh, I've got to stop? There's honestly, if you just keep adding water to it and keep an eye on it, you really keep can keep going. it going all day if you just keep oh, it on wow. low and your whole house will smell and so fun and festive. Our studio is already smelling pretty yeah, good too already. It's pretty good. Love that thought. And still ahead, this holiday season also has to belong to the dogs, everybody's favorite. So after the break, we're going to show you how to make your dog a special treat with Martina.